Good morning, booktube, YouTube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video. I'm always saying the same thing. It is, um, it is a Sunday late morning here. It's 11.42 late morning on June the 9th, 2019. Here in West Michigan, it is a rainy day. Yesterday was a really nice day. So I thought I'd make a video. Kind of a, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm still sick with a cold. But slowly I'm beginning to feel better. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, I just want to do a little update about what I've been reading. Uh, this morning, I... Uh, since my last video, I I did get in the mail from uh, Reformation Heritage Books, uh, Volume 2 of the Theoretica Practical Theology. This is Volume 2, Faith and the Triune God by Petrius Van Menstret, translated by Todd M. Reisner. I had... I have been reading volume one. I got this several months ago. This came out in, I think last year came out. This came out in 2018. This is a projected six volumes. This one, this volume has his life and work, volume one, has life and work, and then it has his funeral orienta orientation, and then it has the me best method of preaching, and then it goes into the Pramagama, Theoretica Practical Theology, and on the nature of theology, and then it went into Holy Scripture, and uh, then it has the distribution, the, the distribu distribution of theology, and and then you come into volume two, faith in the triune God, and I've been reading on what is saving faith. That's what I've been reading this morning. And I'm on the sections, Saving Faith, The Marks of Saving Faith. Uh, and uh, so I've been reading that. So I've been reading this since I got it. Today is Sunday. I think I got it. I got this Friday afternoon. So I've been reading it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, Friday, as you guys know, I volunteer at the local library used bookstore. Even though I was sick Friday, I took some cough medicine. I went down there, and I knew it would be really slow. So I figured I would go down to the book nook, and I would sit there, blow my nose, cough. I took some water along, and then I would just leave. And yeah, it was very, very slow. But when I was there... I've been start collecting the crime novels of Joe Nespa. He's a Norwegian crime fiction writer. And I start collecting these. I don't know why. I don't know. If I see them in the book nook and they're really, you know, a dollar or, you know, a newer one might be two dollars, I just buy them. But I start reading this one Friday. And this is called Nemesis. Uh, Nemesis? Uh, a Harry Hole novel. Harry Hole is a uh, is a uh, he works in the uh, the you know he's a police detective and solves crimes. So I've been reading this Friday, Saturday. Probably read it today. I've read 169 pages. It says here in the back. After a drunken evening with his former girlfriend, Anna Basin, police detective Harry Hole wakes up at home with a headache, no cell phone, 
No memory of the past 12 hours. The same day Anna is found shot dead in her bedroom, making Hole a prime suspect in an investigation led by his hated adversary, Tom Waller. Meanwhile, the bank robberies continue with unparalleled savagery, sending rogue Detective Hole from the streets of Oslo to steaming Brazil in a race to close two cases, clear his name, but Waller isn't finished with his longtime nemesis quite yet. So, you know, I've been reading this. I never read uh, a, a Joe Nesbeth, Nesbo, and uh, it's, it's what, I don't know. It's, it's something I can read in my afflicted state and being sick. It doesn't require a lot of, it's just kind of entertainment. And when I was at the Book Nook Friday, I picked up some used books. Uh, some books by the British writer Hugh Walpole, Walpole Pole, came in. This is a, a lot, his novel Fortitude. He was a British writer. I think he lived in... Oh, I think this, this one came out. This is copyright in 19... 13 this one and then I bought these two by Hugh, Hugh Walpole Wolf, this is Vanessa being the fourth volume of the Harry's Harry's Chronicle and this is uh, Fortress being the third volume of the Harry's Chronicle by Hugh Walpole it just says here the Harry's Chronicle is not only a superb work of fiction, it is the story of England from 1730 to 1932, retold in a manner that will warm the hearts and enrich the minds of all who cherish the beauty and traditions of their country and thought, and the thought of those who cherished and defended them of old. Uh, is a quote by J. J. B. Presley. You know, I just showed you one of his novels I got at the book book. The canvas is huge, but something is happening. There is movement, color, life in every square inch of it. There is not one tired, listless page. The tale is bewilderingly opiant. The mountains stand up in the sun, mist and rain. Crowds gather to hoot and yell or to eat and drink and tumble one another. Characters by the score come and go. Nearly all of them leap to the eye at once. The business of an artist is to achieve something large, positive, vital, to bring something fine into the world that was not there before. Hugh Walpole, with his grand and pessimistic, his knowledge of men and books, his eye for a vivid scene, his command of those movements when life seems strangely grotesque, or unbearably crude, has done this and should be honored for it. Uh, so I know I got these, you know, they're only two dollars. And then I picked up another Joseph Conrad novel, The Rescue. I've been collecting. Uh, it seems in the book book a lot of Joseph Conrad has been coming in. And I didn't have this in our Joseph Conrad collection. The Rescue, A Romance of the Shallows. And then I picked up this novel, Impossible Views of the World, a novel by Lucy Ives. She has a new album, new album called uh, Louder Milk that I noticed is in the New York Book Review. And I picked this one up at the Book Nook Friday. So these are the used books I bought home from the Book Nook. Uh, I've been reading Nemesis. Nemesis? A Harry Hole novel by Joe Nesbro. This is translated out of the Norwegian by Dan Barnett. And I've been reading Theoretical Practical Theology on uh, Faith in the Triune God, Volume 2. As far as my diary, this morning I'm on page. 512 for the year 2019. So that's it. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably go to the book nook tomorrow. 
and volunteer. Tomorrow we have, tomorrow's a Monday. I have been, I've been too sick to go to thrift stores and I just don't feel well, so. That's about it here. Like I said, I'm on the men slowly. Yesterday, I posted that video of our granddaughter, Cora, getting baptized at a Catholic church. Um, I've never seen a Catholic baptism before. Well, I know they they baptize infants. I'm sure they baptize adults, too, when they enter into it. Well, there was a young boy that was baptized who was, I think, five or six. So, uh, so yeah. That's about it here. So we had a good time after the baptism. We went to our sons, Caleb's and Emily's in their house. There are friends and family there. And it was a, you know, I didn't feel too well, but you know, I wanted to see the baptism of our granddaughter, Coralie. Yeah, in the Presbyterians, we practice infant baptism too, but it's a different theological understanding of baptism but it was still interesting unfortunately the the it was the service was given by a deacon and the church was very big very canal you know just a big cavern and the guy didn't have a microphone on and i couldn't hardly hear what he was reading from the form for baptism but it was okay so i hope you're having you had a good weekend you have a good new week uh so yeah, thank you for the comments. Do hope you're all doing well. Do thank you for the new subscribers and for those who stay and watch these videos. And uh, till next time, bye.